Hi, tonight we're going to talk about experiencing spiritual awakening. Why? Being healthy is natural for our physical and mental nature, and it is easily distinguishable from our spiritual essence. Enlightenment is the natural state of spiritual awakening, which is beyond the physical being, while still experiencing the body and mind. We are awareness, and when we live in it, everything looks better, sounds better, feels better, tastes better, and smells better. Therefore, the question is not whether there is life after death, but whether or not we live while being alive. Being aware of life, death, and consciousness enables us to live life completely and intensely through the body and mind knowing we are awareness itself. Awareness is being restored to truth and beyond the body and mind, so it brings us peace that is of infinite importance and usefulness. Satguru says, The only reason why, why you cause suffering to yourself and to anyone around you is because you are unaware. Maharishi says, You are awareness. Awareness is another name for you. Since you are awareness, there is no need to attain or cultivate it. All that you have to do is to give up being aware of other things that are not of the self. If one gives up being aware of them, then pure awareness alone remains, and that is the self. Hawaiians, when connected to spirit, want to live in harmony with themselves and their family and community. So practice Ho'opono Opono. This spiritual practice works for individuals or communities as it awakens the collective consciousness. It is a spiritual awakening that everything is connected and not out there separate from us. Therefore, the importance is to clear the mind of negativity, to enable and empower our mind to heal and disentangle from negative so we can experience love, joy, and the right to act without hindrance or restraint. There are only four actions to move to a new position in any order in this practice. The first one, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. This is self-empowerment and total responsibility for everything in contact with us. Confession, repentance, and reconciliation. The Hawaiians say, keep calm and do the ho'opono opono. The basic is ho'opono opono is... Don't know what it is in me that has brought this into my life. I am sorry. Please forgive me. I am unconscious. Thank you for helping resolve this situation for, for me. I love you. The Bible says the same thing in 1 John 1 9. It says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Deepak Chopra says, Forgiveness is attention without judgment. It heals the one who forgives and the one who is forgiven. The pattern of the prodigal son is rebellion, ruin, repentance, reconciliation, restoration, and the mercy that gives us a second chance and sets us free. We all need a device to open up our heart and mind, to focus our awareness on what we already know, which is to know who we already are. The door to heighten awareness opens inward, not outward, so allows us the freedom to not be angry, looking back or afraid, looking forward, but aware, looking around in the present, so we smile more. Our awareness is limited in our mind to tiny views and situations where spirituality is becoming aware of everything that we are in spirit and in consciousness. 
Spirituality is experiencing life in its entirety and who we are in a harmonious whole by living completely. Ho, opono, pono, and the parables of Jesus are pointers to the reality that our mind, that our mind can understand, as they are not declarations, but pointers. If we are lost, a finger pointing in the right direction can help. Science confirms that we don't experience reality point blank, but through our senses, filters, and mind. Spirituality helps us remove the veil, the illusion of separateness or duality that seems like a dream. So what is left is reality. This expression in consciousness or spirit is not through subject-object, but knowing by spiritual experience or being itself. Sadhguru says, Only your experience of life transcends the physical, and something other than the physical is happening. Then we can say you are spiritual. Buddha said, Just as a candle cannot burn without fire, men cannot live without a spiritual life. Deepak Chopra said, Religion is belief in someone else's experience. Spirituality is having your own experience. In the parable of the mustard seed, Jesus said in Matthew 13, 31, 31 to 21, the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. Through it is the smallest of all seeds. Yet when it grows, it becomes one of the largest garden plants so that the birds can come and perch on his branches. He was telling us that the seed or spirit, self-knowledge, lives and expands within us and grows as we progress spiritually. When planted in the fertile ground of a spiritual aspirin, the seed grows no matter how small it is, so birds will find shelter there. The birds represent the different facets of our life good and bad. So when we relax in the soul, we accept ourselves and find inner peace. Our mind is a collection of memories and desires that are good and bad, and the mind does not go beyond the known. Even a new idea is filtered through previous memories and experiences. When the conscious mind is bypassed, transcended, we get a spiritual experience without filters, and everything becomes clear, more than we think. With a mental vacation, some space from, from our mind, relaxing in awareness, our troubling thoughts can come, be acknowledged, and let go. Thoughts can be complex and troubling in the mind, but in consciousness, they are simple, easy, respected, and then let go. Sadhguru says, when, you, when your mind is full of assumptions, conclusions, and beliefs, it has no penetration. It just repeats past impressions. He also said, nature has evolved to a high level of intelligence and awareness, but we are refusing to accept the promotion. Deepak Chopra says, By becoming self-aware, you gain ownership of reality in becoming real. You become the master of both the inner and outer life. Thank you.